watching. And again, I'd like to welcome you all to part eight of our mid-year app review, where in this series, we are reviewing the hundred or so apps that we uh, introduced this year. And I really look forward to uh, rediscovering these apps and hopefully showcasing how useful and beneficial they can be uh, for your life. So I look forward to our session as always. And again, thanks so much for joining the Wild Tech DC Senior iPad program. Its owners and presenters offer technical assistance, virtual health, well-being, information design for educational purposes only. You should not rely on the information or any applications or topics made by Wild Tech, including but not limited to mobile device applications and any social media pages maintained by Wild Tech, its owners or presenters as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or legal advice. Thanks so much for letting me read the disclaimer. If you cannot see me, hear me, or see the screen, please let me know in the chat, and I would appreciate that. I always recommend that you have some kind of notes next to you so you can record some information down or review it for later. And as always, let's make sure our TVs and cell phones are silenced to give others, and most importantly, ourselves, the most immersive experience. To keep our meetings organized, which we always do, uh, the, I just ask that you use the raise hand feature. You can find the raise hand feature. Again, if your toolbar is at the top, you can hit more at the top right, and then you can tap on raise hand. If your toolbar is at the bottom of the screen, like myself, I have to hit reactions and then tap on raise hand. So either way, I want everyone in Zoom to please raise their hand if you're here, if you're ready to learn, if you're present, and if you're excited. Today's Friday. Um, happy it's National Space Day in India today, as you can see in my background as well. If you're wishing everyone a wonderful weekend, you're going to learn a lot today, have a lot of fun. We're going to win a prize for our trivia today, for our uh, Travel Friday, etc. So again, please make sure to raise your hand if you ever have a question, comment, concern, anything you'd like to share, please raise your hand. So thank you. Already 14 of you have raised your hands. I appreciate that. Your efforts are not unnoticed. So again, let's make sure that we utilize the raise hand. You can hit lower at the bottom to lower your hand. So again, once you're called on, don't forget to lower your hand so we can make sure everyone has the opportunity to uh, share, okay? And we still have some hands up. Again, once you're called on, don't forget to hit lower at the bottom to lower your hand. Okay, thank you. And if you want to communicate with others non-verbally, the chat is a great way to share a greeting, ask a question, send your congrats, send a photo, anything of that nature. If your toolbar is at the top, you're going to hit more at the top right and then hit the first option that says chat. And then the meeting chat window will come up. You tap where it says tap here to chat. You type your message in and send it using this blue button with this triangle in it. Um, if your toolbar is at the bottom, you simply just have to access the chat by hitting chat right here at the bottom. And then uh, right here at the right hand side, you can do the same steps and type your message in and send it. So I want everyone in Zoom to please share a message. Again, a chat, it could be any text, it could be emojis. I'm about to add a let me look for some space emojis as well. So here you go. <laughs> wow, they even got astronauts. That's pretty cool. So there you go. Uh, hello, everyone, and happy National Space Day. You can, you can put anything. Happy Friday. Hope you have a great weekend. Um, you can even add a photo in the chat by hitting the plus sign next to tap here to chat. And then you can hit photo and add any photo from your photos app. So this week, it was a uh, senior day, basically, <laughs> which I loved. Someone shared that GIF. Uh, yeah, someone shared this good morning. And uh, someone shared this happy Friday last week. So I'm going to share it with you all today. So there goes two more images as well. Oh, OK. <laughs> I guess I now know who sent that image or who saved it, which is great, because Brenda, you and I are thinking alike today. <laughs> um, thank you. Well, let's have a great weekend. If you want to save an image that someone put in the chat, you can hold it with your finger and then hit save image. So if you wanted to save this happy Friday or uh, either good mornings for those images, etc. cetera. Yep, yep. Oh, hey, Greer. It's been a while. Thanks so much for joining. Yeah, I love your uh, hearts. Thanks for your emojis, Mr. Thomas. I appreciate that. Let's have a great weekend. Happy Friday. 
yep, yep. Any newcomers, any any folks that haven't been on, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to have a lot of fun today. So thank you. Yep, good Friday morning. Hello. Thank you so much. Yep, TGIF. <laughs> but yep, thanks so much for sharing. And thank you all so much for sharing today. Yep, let's have a wonderful weekend and a great day today. Thank you. Um, if you all also could share in the chat, Again, what were your favorite Zoom sessions this week and why? Love to hear and chat and see and chat those out. Um, of course, I really enjoyed Margaret's sessions this week, uh, our session on updating our iPads um, for our advanced session, our modules this week were really fun. So uh, again, your favorite so far. Again, we still have our trip to the UK at 12 and our module at 1.30. So you could share your favorites in the chat. I love to shout them out. And again, thanks so much for joining us today. Yep, yep. So again, we're going to be continuing our mid-year app review. So we're going to be overviewing some of the apps we've covered since January 2024. And of course, have our overview and discussion and talk about how the apps have impacted us or will impact us. So first up, we did um, basically apps for, uh, for sports, <laughs> which I really enjoyed, sports and fitness. So uh, first up, uh, the app that we covered is the clock app. So this is Apple's app, which helps you manage your time on your Apple device. It has features such as the world clock. So you can see the current time in cities around the world. There are alarms. So you can set alarms for any time of day on your iPad. You, can, uh, you also have a stopwatch you can take advantage of where, where you can measure the duration of an event. And uh, of course, timers. So you can set a timer, you can count down seconds, minutes, or hours, etc. So this is Apple's app. So this should be downloaded, of course, already on all Apple devices. So you don't have to go to the App Store to necessarily download it. But if you ever just want to learn more about an app, you can go in the App Store. And the App Store is how you download different apps. Again, it can be found on usually on the on your first screen, but mine's also here on my other screen right here. This is called the App Store. That's how you download different apps. You hit the search button at the bottom right until you have the keyboard come up. It's really easy to access. So I'm going to type in clock. Again, it's already downloaded on your device. So you're not downloading it, but again, you can just learn more information about an app without actually having to be in the app. So again, more information and previews as well with images for the particular app. You see it was made by Apple, it's considered a utility, there's quite a bit of ratings, et cetera. So, and you can also see more apps like that app. So because this is an Apple app, they're gonna recommend more apps from Apple and also some other apps as well. But I really enjoy the clock app. Let's open it and explore it together. So you have your toolbar here at the, at the bottom. So it's very simple to navigate. Uh, we're gonna go from left to right. So first up is the world clock. So pretty self-explanatory, right? You can see what time it is in other parts of the world. So look, I can see that in, in San Fran right now, it's 717, three hours behind. Yeah, that's you know real easy way to learn and kind of remember time zones in a way. Um, you know, New York, that's our time. Alcapoco, it's two hours before us. Um, you can see in parts of Europe, um, London, we'll be visiting London hopefully today with Lou. It's uh, oh, five hours ahead. Um, now I know Nigeria um, are, uh, is uh, five hours ahead of us as well, which makes sense. Uh, Moscow, seven hours ahead of us. So wow, it's really cool to see where, what time it is in other parts of the world. You see in Sydney, Australia, it's midnight. <laughs> Over there, it's dark in Tokyo and Beijing. Uh, so it's really cool to be able to look at. You can also add, if I hit the plus button here at the top right, I can add a city. If I hit edit at the top left, I can remove any of these that I want that I don't, may not want to see uh, if, if I want to do that, which I think is really cool. I hit done, I can hit plus. Again, I can see what time it is. Let's go with, let's do Nigeria, Lagos, Nigeria. Yep, 318 right there. Uh, if, let's say, last week we visited Switzerland. So let's do Zurich, Switzerland, it's 418 PM. That's pretty cool, right? That you can check out the world clock 
with the clock app, okay? You have your alarms. So of course you can set up an alarm on your iPad, which is very convenient. Again, you don't have to have a physical alarm clock. You can use the alarm on your iPad. You probably have an alarm feature if you have a, you know, on your phone as well. Um, it's very common throughout devices these days, but I, I like, you know, how, being able to see all my alarms right here on my iPad. So, you know, I utilize that sometimes. Of course, I have an iPhone, so, you know, I use Earth, you know, cell phones. Again, most cell phones have an alarm, so I typically use it on my um, phone, but there are some times where I use it on my iPad. Really cool what you can do. You can set up as many alarms. Like I can have a 6, an 8, an 8.30, 8.45, and a 10.43 alarm if I wanted to. Uh, some can even repeat, right? So look, if I just tap on, let's say the 6 a.m. alarm, I can adjust it. I can make it repeat every week if I wanted to, which is can be very convenient. I can also label it. So it's not just alarm. Maybe 6 a.m. is my uh, wake up alarm, <laughs> uh, et cetera. You know, you can title it if you want. You can change the sound. So you can change what you get as an alarm. I want. I hope you are all able to hear that. Um, and it's really cool what you can do. Um, you can either turn off or on snooze <laughs> if you want as well. So you can, of course, edit or delete alarms. Sometimes, you know, I just start from scratch. And if you want to add an alarm, you can hit the add button at the top right. So again, just adding a new alarm. Let's say I wanted to add an alarm Again, you can just add it, but you can turn it off or on as you please. So let, let's say I want, uh, let's see, 8.30. I don't want it to repeat, so I'll keep it like that, but I can change it if I want. I can label it, get up, <laughs> anything. Just have fun, right? Get up, there you go. Uh, sound, let me choose a sound. Let's do, you know? One that you feel like will be able to wake you up. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that one or get you up or notice it, you know, make sure your iPad volume is turned up, of course, uh, so you can hear it. And again, I can choose if I want to have this alarm, have a snooze or not. So uh, I'll keep the snooze on it. So I'm going to hit save. And there you go. That's my 830 get up alarm. But you can have an alarm for anything in the day. You know, if you have something really important to do, you know, besides putting it on your calendar, you can put an alarm for it if, it, if you really need to, you know, remember something. I recommend that you do that. Um, okay, so that's alarms. You have your stopwatch. So again, you can time events. I remember in high school, uh, especially in uh, physics, but also chemistry, I use timers quite a bit. So I use the one on my phone or device to be able to time different things so literally if you're running laps <laughs> you can use it like like if i hit lap there's lap two there's lap three lap four etc you know which i think is very convenient but if you ever need to time something specifically in this manner you have a stopwatch available on your ipad so i can hit stop start you know stop start too which i think is really convenient too you can stop the time for a particular lap or anything that you need to stop your time for. You can also reset it to start from scratch. Last, but certainly not least, one I use a lot is a timer, okay? So with the timer, again, if I swipe up, these are some of the different timers that I use. So look, uh, dryer timer, <laughs> literally eggs, like make it eggs. I did an eggs timer, you know? Uh, you can have as many of them as you want. You can hit the X to delete out of them or delete them if you want. Again, you can have a timer for anything. You can label it. You can uh, change, again, the um, tone that plays if you want. And you can have more than one timer at the same time. So let's say I'm doing you know, laundry, for example, 30 minutes. I can call this the washer timer, right? But let's say I'm, again, cooking something like those eggs. So that's one timer. Yeah. And again, you can label it. And if I hit the plus button, let me see if I can add one right here. Start. 
there you go. That's how you can have two timers at the same time. You see that four minute timer, then you have that 30 minute timer. All you have to do is when you set up a timer, you just have to hit the plus button. And that way you can then even set up more. That's my four minute timer. This is my 30 minute timer. And maybe I need a 45 minute timer. Let me hit play. X, I actually did that twice. <laughs> Let me hit the X. So there you go. You can have as many timers as you want at the same time. You can label them. You can change the sound that comes out of them um, as well. So you can have different tones for different timers. So isn't, isn't that convenient? So again, all in all, with the clock app on your iPad, you can check where what time it is in other parts of the world. You can set up an alarm or alarms. Um, you can set up a stopwatch if you need to. And last but not least, you can set up timers. So that way, if you need to time anything, you can do so with your iPad. If you like the um, clock app, if you want to download it, please uh, raise your hand in Zoom. And uh, if you have use for an alarm or a stopwatch or a timer or even the world clock, again, please raise your hand if you like this app, if you're going to take advantage of it on your iPad. Um, it's really great what you can do with just one app. So I hope you all take advantage of it. And uh, it really helps out with a lot of different things. So thank you all so much. I appreciate that. We had about four or five hands. So thank you so much. You all can hit lower. The next app that we cover um, is Apple Sports. So especially if you're uh, a real uh, sports fan, this is the app for you. Your real time scores and stats at fast and simple. The next app will be very similar, but different. Uh, you can get play-by-play -play updates, betting odds, box scores, and more. You can customize your scoreboard by following your favorite teams. And there are many things like MLS, Major League Baseball, the NBA, WNBA, National Hockey League, Premier League, NCAA, and many other options as well. So again, if you go to the App Store on your device, this one is not pre-downloaded on your device, but it's still an app from Apple. So I'm going to type in Apple Sports, again, in the App Store. This is how you download an app. And look, it's right here at the top right, Apple Sports. Um, if you didn't download it before, it would say get. I've downloaded before, so I actually it says update. So all I have to do is hit update to update the app. But look, that latest update two days ago, kick off this NFL season with Apple Sports. Follow your favorite teams all season long in real time. So again, let's go ahead and open it and see what it has to offer. And this is what it looks like. I recommend you have your iPad vertically for this one so you can see more of the screen. But look at that. Um, you can, uh, I'm in MLB, Major League Baseball, so I can see today's games, I can see yesterday's games, and I can see the upcoming games for Major League Baseball. If I hit Major League Baseball, I can choose a different one like NBA, yeah, NBA returns on October for 2024 season. That's good to know. NFL upcoming. So Saturday, August 24th. That's tomorrow, right? <laughs> uh, wow. All these games. Today. And this was yesterday. Bears, Chiefs, Colts, and Bengals. Today, we have the Jaguars and Falcons. Dolphins and Buccaneers, 49ers, and Raiders. So it's really cool looking at the information. So yesterday, let's go to yesterday's game. Let me hit the Bears versus Chiefs game. Look at that. When you tap on a game, you can even see more information about it, like betting odds. You can you see the play-by-play. -play. Again, this is like, you know, braille to me <laughs> with a lot of these uh, phrases and terms, but Again, it's just cool to see the uh, um, information, standings. You can see different standings as well for that particular game. So again, let's go to this game. And if I swipe up, I can look at team stats by person. Wow. That's really cool, right? You can see that it's, again, especially if you're a diehard sports fan, you know, uh, this is really cool. Game information at the very bottom. This was August 22nd at 8. It was in Cincinnati, Ohio. Wow. So again, just with this app, again, Apple Sports, you can see 
again, the stats and teams and, and anything regarding your favorite team. Look at all these different leagues. You can see more leagues, more information about those. Um, you can do favorite teams if you want. Which I really like. Again, you can search for leagues and teams. So let's write uh, Eagles, right? There's Eagles. If I search it and I see that star next to the name, I can favorite them for later. So you can search by leagues and teams or games. So look, I can type in Eagles or even EAG and it pops up. And then look, it pops up that they have a game at one o'clock tomorrow versus the Vikings. So with this app, Again, just simply using it, you can look at your favorite teams, favorite them. Uh, you can uh, look at their stats and information. So I hope you all enjoy this app and take advantage of it. Um, if you like the Apple Sports app, if you want to download it, take advantage of it, just check it out. Please raise your hand in Zoom. Oh, uh, that's a great uh, chat. Um, Greer, thanks so much for letting us know. I know you'll like the next one uh, as well. <laughs> it's kind of similar, but it may just have some more information that you might like. So, wow, again, three hands so far. Again, any diehard sports fans on the call or in sports, just regular sports fans <laughs> alike. Um, I know a lot of my friends, uh, they, they like sports. So, you know, at least I'll be able to kind of catch up with them <laughs> in regards to what's going on. But I uh, hope you all get to take advantage of the app. So we had about six, seven hands. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You all can hit lower at the bottom. And our last uh, sports app that we covered was CBS Sports, which is everything a sports fan needs in just one place. <laughs> get customized alerts based on your favorite teams, players, and leagues. Stay on top of the biggest news in the sports world and more. So again, it's kind of like Apple Sports, but you know, just CBSified. <laughs> so again, you're gonna go into the app store and you're gonna hit the search and you are going to type in CBS Sports in there. Um, I will, uh, you know, I usually do this. I just didn't do it for the first two. If you hit the share button at the top right of any app that you're in, in the app store, you can um, mail, mail it this app to someone email it send the link to someone you can also hit copy link and paste it wherever you want so for this app i'm going to go to zoom and again uh tap where it says tap here to chat and paste we learned how to copy and paste in our in our module sessions so i'm going to paste the link to this particular app but again you can search for it in the app store or you can tap on the link in here in the chat as well. So I hope you all get to take advantage. So again, when you're in the app store, you're gonna hit get, you're gonna um, follow the prompts that are on the screen and then you can download the app. So let's open it. This is the CBS Sports app. And let's see what you can take advantage of it with. CBS Sports. Okay, again, make sure you follow the prompts that are on the screen, but look at that. Isn't this a beautiful app? <laughs> uh, yeah. Again, make sure you follow the prompts on the screen. You read through them so you can, again, follow them through. But look at that. Uh, these We have a toolbar at the bottom. Again, like with the other apps, quite convenient, right? Um, and that separates the different things that you can do here in the CBS Sports app. But the first one is news. So look, at the top, you can adjust the news based on NFL, NBA, the draft, NHL, NCAA. But look, these are top headlines in general. Who has college football's most talented roster? Why the Mariners can make playoff run? <laughs> um, my my feed. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. Bears, Coleman, the third, leaves game in ambulance. Wow. Did not know that happened. And again, just looking through with the news section, there are many different articles you can read. They even offer CBS Sports podcasts. So you can listen to a podcast, again, if you, of any of these different uh, ones that are available. And it's just cool to see, again, all these different sports news that uh, you can read. Again, at the top, you can go, let's see if I have NFL, I just see NFL news. And you go from there. The second option at the bottom it's scores so you can look at scores 
So again, just like Apple Sports, in here you can look at the scores. So for yesterday's game, you see Colts and Bengals, Bears and Chiefs game. So look, I can even tap on the video that they have. Chin up, chest tall. <laughs> this is where we get ready to get the workout started. Yeah, this is an ad, of course, but you can, I guess, watch an overview of the game in the CBS Sports app, which I really enjoy. Um, MLB, look at the scores. You can see all the scores here on your screen. Uh, Europa League, no more. Yeah, you can even add or customize your leagues from here. The watch section here at the bottom, look at that. You can watch um, CBS Sports Glazo Network. This is live and you can watch it. And to tell us about all that excitement is our very own Jeff Shreves. Isn't that Jeff, cool? Jeff, you're right. <laughs> I'm good, Nico. I'm good. I'm just looking at, you know, we are only in week. Yeah, I hit the top right option to even turn on captions. But look at that. Live now, CBS Sports Galazzo Network. This is CBS Sports HQ. A quarterback, Kate McNamara, who was at Michigan. Parents will miss I was open. Again, this is all, you know, free, really accessible. Isn't that cool? CBS Sports Network, Inside Coach College Football, Armed Forces Preview. This last channel, UEFA Champions League. And he was looking for. Again, it's cool. You can, there are many different options here in the watch section. Highlights, what's upcoming, uh, top stories, previews and best bets, MLB, NFL, all these previews, right? That you can watch or just videos you can watch in general. Building a home. Of course, there may be some ads. But that's really cool. The fourth option here is picks. Um, again, I'm not a sports betting person at all, so I would not know how to operate this side, but it is there if you would like. And last but not least is the more section. So, of course, you can add your favorite teams. You can add or you can edit your favorite sports. You can look at podcasts, different sports podcasts. Look at all these different podcasts that you can take advantage of. Really cool, right? And even radio. Join me, JR, weekdays starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, 3 p.m. Pacific for the JR Sports. Isn't that cool? They even have radio in the app as well. So with just with the CBS, CBS Sports app, you can look at sports news. You can look at sports scores based on the day as well. Look, I can go ahead or behind. Real, real uh, cool. Again, you can watch different videos, highlights, even watch live um, now TV channels, basically, on the CBS Sports app. You have your picks. And in the more section, you can select your favorite teams and sports and listen to podcasts and a radio from CBS Sports, all free and real accessible. If you like this app, if you want to download it, take advantage of it on your iPad, please raise your hand in Zoom. So again, for our uh, sports and fitness um, session that we had, we covered um, the clock app where you can have your stopwatch, your alarms, your timers, and we covered the Apple and CBS sports app together where you can look at different news and scores and videos and podcasts and radio as well. Um, I really enjoy these different apps, even though I'm not the biggest sports fan myself, I can see the value of who especially is, and um, to definitely keep in the know of what's going on in sports. So again, if you enjoyed the CBS Sports app today, please raise your hand in Zoom. And thanks so much for joining so far. Quite a bit of fun to learn more about sports. So please share, of course, with your friends and family as well. Thank you all so much. You all can hit lower. Um, the next, yeah, we had about five, six hands. Thank you. Um, the next few apps that we covered were apps for mental health. So, uh, and I really enjoy these apps. So I'm glad that we can go over them again. Uh, first up is an app called How We Feel, which is a free app created by scientists, designers, engineers, and therapists to help people better understand their emotions and find strategies to help them uh, navigate their emotions in the moment. So this is an emotional well-being journal. So I'm gonna go to the app store on my device and I'm going to hit the search button, just like before, and type in the name or type of app that you want. So how we feel. 
hit the search, and it's right here at the top right hand corner, how we feel. It, this was a finalist for the Apple Design Awards 2024 Social Impact. So it's a very popular, highly regarded app. Again, you can see the preview of the app. So it's a free journal for your well-being. You can check in to learn about your emotions, spot patterns as they appear, learn new ways to help yourself in the moment, share how you feel with others, et cetera. So I really like this app. Let's go ahead and open it and see uh, how we can take advantage of it. When you open it up for the first time, um, you will get some in, you know, initial instructions on, um, on setting up everything in the app. But uh, once you do, um, this is what your screen will look like. You have your check-in. So um, the last time I did the session, it was uh, in May. So you know, I wrote I was feeling blessed, <laughs> which is great. Again, you can track. So I recommend you do this on a on a daily basis, so you can just check in with yourself every day. Uh, kind of a little bit about what Margaret was mentioning this week. You, you know, you just got to make sure you you know you check yourself um, every day. You know your body, your mind, your soul, etc. So this, I feel like this is a great resource. So let's check in. How are you feeling this morning? So when you check in, um, you have these different options. So uh, tap the color that best describes how you feel right now. So for me, um, I'm yellow, high energy <laughs> and pleasant, you know, and I'm being honest. You have to be uh, honest with yourself when you, when you do this, because that's how you can then help yourself the best. If you can recognize how you are truly feeling. So I'm gonna hit a high energy pleasant. And then look, it says tap the emotion that best describes how you feel right now. So right now I am, let's see, I can say pleased. <laughs> um, that's, honestly, that's just what stuck out to me. Everyone's gonna feel a little different and that's okay. So I'm gonna say pleased um, and go from there. Uh, you can add a general entry. Um, says it right here, or you can even add an emotion. So even go even more specific, right? Even more specifically how you feel. Okay, I feel pleased as well. Let me see if I see that right here. But I can also choose another one as well. All of these different options, right? Wow. There's really a lot of ways that someone can feel, you know, feelings are a little more complex than sometimes we think, you know? Um, I really like uh, just looking at the different terms and just realizing how each of them are. So I'm going to say cheerful. I'm feeling pleased and cheerful. <laughs> how fun, right? Um, yep, what are you, yep, you can add a general entry, you know, explore why you might be feeling pleased and cheerful. And you write down what you wanna write down, literally a journal for you. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I can even hit the plus and um, let's see, uh, working on the iPad. So let me, oh, I'll literally write iPad <laughs> right now and I could do that. Who are you with? Um, with friends, I could say that. Uh, I'm with uh, our participants, you know, I could, you know, be real specific if I want to, but again, everyone's gonna be different. Where are you? Uh, work. <laughs> And then look, even if I hit this, let's see this, this uh, paperclip looking icon, what does that do? You can add a photo or, a vi or even voice. You can add voice to this as well, which I think is really, really cool. And look, it says connect your health data, connect your sleep, exercise, weather, and more to spot patterns in your emotions. Wow, I think that's really cool. All this, I would definitely try to check this out. Look, Apple Health data. So if you add any of these data to Apple Health, how we feel, we'll take that into account when you utilize the app. That's a really cool feature that you can uh, utilize. So I definitely would recommend you all check this out. Let's complete our check-in. Yeah. And there you go. Two unique feelings, one day streak. At the bottom, these are the different tools. So look at all these different tools that are available. I love this quote right here, but like best self breathing quotes. Okay, give me a moment to you all. My screen went out, but it's good that I didn't go out. But again, with this app, 
how we feel. And again, if I, get, if I go back here, different tools. So best self, best selfie, burn the negative, grateful moments. So different interactive exercises that she can do. I love grateful moments. Create a collection of photos to remind you of the joy in your life or in the negative. Identify negative stories you tell yourself and let go of these stories, different exercises. So I love that. Breathing. Let me see what comes up for that psycho, hmm, physiological sigh. Box breathing exercises to center your mind, improve focus and reduce stress. Four, seven, eight breathing. Belly breathing, coherent breathing. I've never heard of those before, so I, I love to uh, check those out. Imagine a box while doing this exercise to help focus your mind. I love that. Um, I love these tools. Movement, mindfulness, emotions are here. Thank you for your patience, everyone. I appreciate that. Again, sometimes apps in the screen share can, um, you know, it can be not too much, but it can uh, maybe overload it sometimes. So that's good that um, I quickly was able to come back. So again, make sure you look at the tools in this app. I think the breathing and the different mindfulness exercises, the quotes that are there, I really like. Um, friends, you can uh, share your emotions with different friends if you would like um with other folks that have the app and then you're analyzed so you can look at uh all of the emotions that you felt to one point your check and breakdown you can see your moods you can see your emotions your mood during the day wow you can it really does analyze a lot with the information that you input into the app okay see three moods right just a great overall summary on what you can do. So again, with the How We Feel app, you can check in with yourself. You have many different kinds of exercises like mindfulness and, and breathing exercises and quotes. You can also share how you feel with friends and analyze your data from the all time, from a certain day to really analyze yourself and help you make the best decisions for you. If you like this app, if you want to download it and take advantage of it, please raise your hand in Zoom. Again, you have a free emotional well-being journal for you to take advantage of. So I hope you all do. And it, I hope it really does help out with um, recognizing how you feel and what you need to do to get to where you want to be. I think I really like that app for those reasons. So thank you. Really appreciate that. We got about six, seven hands. I love it. I hope you all take advantage of how we feel. Um, the, next, the, the other app that we covered for mental health was Daily Dose Affirmations. You can unlock positivity and self-love daily, get affirmations, guidance, and gentle reminders for a resilient, confident you. Daily Dose Affirmations is your personal gateway to positivity, resilience, and an unwavering love for yourself. So if you go to the app store on your device, just like before, and there's two, over 2 million apps on your device. So there's really anything. If you can think of any kind of app that you want to download, please search for it and you will be surprised on what you find. Again, I did not know about any of the apps that we talked about before we talked about them. And that's just because I did a simple search on the app store of something or the topic that I may have wanted to learn more about. And all these came up. So it's literally just an exploration. And that's how you can find many different things. So the app that we're going to talk about is Daily Dose Affirmations. It's right here at the top right-hand side. Of course, there are many other ones that you can take advantage of. There's so many different affirmation apps. I just tried to find one that was the easiest to navigate, access, etc. So this is the Daily Dose Affirmations app. I am going to hit the share button and copy the link and post it into the Zoom chat for you all. Again, thank you so much all for your patience and understanding. Gone through quite a bit of apps today, some sports apps and now some mental health apps as well. So 
Um, again, once you tap on the link, just like I did, it takes you straight to the app store. Please make sure you down, you get hit get and download and check out the app. So when I hit open, again, I recommend you have your iPad vertically for this. This is what uh, comes up. So again, your this is your daily dose of love. <laughs> Uh, I ask for what I need. I give and I receive with an open heart. Welcome to Naturally Ashley's Daily Self-Love Affirmations. How to use it. Stand in front of a mirror. This is important so you can look yourself in the eyes as you recite the affirmation. Looking yourself in the eyes increases the impact the information will have on your unconscious mind. Recite it out loud five to ten times. Speak slowly, clearly, and with confidence. Notice if there's anywhere in your body you feel resistance to the affirmation. Acknowledge the resistance and breathe into it as you recite the affirmation. And practice at least three times daily. Ideally, you want to practice affirmations during the morning, the middle of the day, and in the evening. The more you practice, the more powerful the effect will be. Building affirmation in your daily routines and habits. So there's more information here. Look at that. Meditate naturally. I let me challenge. Stress-free naturally. Look at that. Different things right here. Like abundance, acceptance, body, boundaries, challenges, confidence. Love that. Let me hit self-care. So if I hit self-care, different uh, affirmations for self-care. Mindsets. Different mindset affirmations, right? Uh, boundaries, self-love, self-care, abundance, you know, <laughs> I love it. I love this one. Um, I allow miracles to enter my life. I am worthy of greatness. I attract prosperity into my life. I take ownership of my life and take action on my dreams. So follow the instructions, you know, from before, you know, especially staying in front of the mirror, I kind of, I do say, see myself when I say it. So <laughs> it's kind of like that, but you got to say it to yourself, you know, and really look, you know, at your eyes in the mirror or, you know, in your iPad, et cetera. So you can see that. I really like these different affirmations. Uh, the third option right here, again, at the bottom, these are the, the toolbar. The second one is a shop, but I'm going to go past that um, right here. Different, again, different ones. Let's do all. Let me see what happens when I hit all. These are all different affirmations here, which you can, again, take advantage of. Hmm. Yep, top right, if I had those three dots. Again, if I hit refresh, I guess it refreshes it. Um, the fourth option right here, um, this is their YouTube channel. So look, if I hit videos, look at these different uh, meditations, I guess. Embracing your dimension the roots that ground you, releasing into deep relaxation. Look at these different videos. I would definitely try to check these out as well. Yep, guided meditations. I love that. So you can take advantage of um, through this app. It takes you straight to their channel. And this last one right here, again, you can, you can create a profile if you want. But as you can see, I don't need to create an account to access the app. Um, so yes, again, this app, Quite simple, but with it, you can see many different affirmations that if you say to yourself consistently as the app directed, you know, um, your words are powerful. You know, when you say something, you got to believe it to exist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh, words are so powerful. So I recommend you try these out. If you haven't done affirmations, you know, I will admit myself, I don't do them every day myself, but, you know, just... Again, the power of words is, you know, and your words and what you say and what you feel is so important. So just by saying it, you know, it's like putting it into existence. So I hope you all check out this app and the, the channel as well. I love these guided meditations as well. And I like all these different topics. So I hope you get to take advantage of daily dose affirmations. So if you like this app, if you want to download it, take advantage of it, read some affirmations for yourself, listen and watch some, uh, guided meditation videos from them as well, please raise your hand in Zoom. Yep. Uh, again, I posted uh, this link into the, the chat for the app. In the app, that's how you can then access that YouTube uh, channel just by using the toolbar at the bottom. So it's uh, in the chat. I'll post it again, though.
the soul that way it's easy to see. This is the Daily Dose Affirmations app. So I, I hope it's helpful, it's useful, and, you know, again, it really does unlock positivity and self-love every day. If you say good things, good things will happen. If you say good things to yourself, good things will happen to yourself. So I've always believed that and it's definitely um, been throughout my life. So I appreciate, you know, I always appreciate the self-talk to yourself, you know? <laughs> so thank you. Y'all can hit lower. I appreciate that. And the last app that we're going to cover for today um, is the Amazon app. <laughs> I think this was from uh, our Mother's Day presentation that we had. Wanted to, yes, it was. And I wanted to show you again, if you all have, you know, use Amazon, many of you I know have actually used Amazon before, which is great. Um, it's it was so easy to browse, view different product details, read reviews, and purchase millions of products from Amazon. They deliver to 100 plus countries and quickly as three to five days. So this is a very, very popular shopping app. Again, Amazon has many different things that you can purchase on it. So I'm going to hit Amazon or type that in. And again, at the top right, this is the Amazon shopping app. So uh, again, with this app, if I preview it here, again, uh, different things that you can do, um, purchase, etc. Let me go, hmm, this preview is a little bit older than what I expected for this preview. The app looks way more seamless than this preview right here. Yeah, but this is what it looks like on iPhone. Very easy to access, navigate. They should update the iPad pictures here, but let me hit open and quickly show you all how to uh, open and utilize the app. Okay, so um, again, here at the bottom, this is the uh, home screen or yep, the, uh, of the uh, Amazon app, the home page. Look at that organizer dorm, top college finds, jewelry, school supplies. You can search for anything here at the top. Look, if I hit search, let me type in, let's say I want to purchase a grill. And there you go. I can, all these different grills come up. I can do utilize these filters. I can maybe, maybe I want a hundred to $200 grill. Maybe I, uh, if you have Amazon Prime or if you want to take advantage of Amazon Prime, um, or if you have it, please download the app so you can use alongside it with it. So these are like Prime grills from Amazon Prime. Um, today's deals, I can change the color. <laughs> um, if I want, so black, just black grills. Anything, like you can search for anything that you might need. Like, uh, let's see. So, some of you all won an indoor window gardening kit. Literally, if you type in anything in the search bar, you can literally find anything. I mean, it's amazing, right? Like, look at this one. Five bonsai tree kit, complete plant growing tools, grow in pot, indoor bonsai tree starter kit. That's really cool. Um, I think this was the one that was awarded a nine herb window garden kits. Love that. And um, again, you can filter it by price. You can filter it by um, deal, by the brand, by the color. <laughs> if there's even a color for this one in particular, but as you can see, there are so many different options. The second one here at the bottom, that's your profile icon. So of course you have to sign in to, again, make sure you can take advantage of utilizing Amazon. Um, for that question, um, if it's a Visa gift card, again, if long as the whatever kind of card it is for the gift card, you can utilize it. But if it's an Amazon gift card, all you have to do is add that gift card into the um, app whenever you, uh, again, are signed in. Again, I'm not signed into my Amazon account right now, but when you are, you can either, again, when you're about to purchase something or go into your account, you can add your different um, payment methods. So if you have a gift card, you can see if it accepts the gift card here um, in Amazon as well. And this fourth one right here, again, you can search different parts of Amazon. So everything from Prime to gifting and registry to deals and savings, grocery, home and DIY, pets, devices, electronics, um, etc. There's just so many different options that you can take advantage of 
with the Amazon app. Okay, when you're signed in, you will see many other options as well uh, that you can take advantage of. Um, if you see, if you tap on each one, one thing that a lot of people don't know about, which I'll uh, highlight because this is their last app, did you know Amazon has an outlet? So if I hit deals and savings in the Amazon app and look, Amazon outlet, up to 70% off overstock deals. So Amazon has too much of this item. So uh, for those items, they are on deal. So look at that. A four pack of ice trays, 24% off. Uh, look at that. Sugar, salt, spice storage container, 50% off. So you can really get quite a good deal. Like clothing, there's a beauty outlet, there's a kitchen outlet. You can even shop bag categories. So anything that you want, even like electronics and stuff, you can see here in the Amazon outlet. So look at that. Batteries are on sale, uh, different cases, like for phones. Uh, anything. There's just so many different options in, in Amazon. So that's just one I wanted to highlight. Again, not a lot of folks know that Amazon has an outlet on here, but also deals and savings, if, you know, groceries. Look at that. Snap EBT on Amazon. Look at that. Um, medical care, different household gaming, you know, there's just, there's something for everyone. Books, toys, kids, baby, automotive, delivery services, credit card, sports and outdoors, office professional, anything you'd like. So if you, uh, as our last app today, again, I hope you all enjoyed the session. If you like the Amazon app, if you want to take advantage of it, take a look at it, purchase something um, on it and have it be sent to you, please raise your hand in Zoom. Again, with just one app, again, I recommend you sign up, create your Amazon account if you haven't already um, to sign in. And if you need to purchase something or if you need something and it's not in your local area, try the Amazon app. It's so, so convenient, especially I love that outlet shopping. <laughs> I love a good deal, you all. So I hope you all get to check that portion out as well. So yeah, we got about seven, eight hands. I love it. Thank you all so much. I really appreciate you all joining us today. Um, if you liked any of the apps or all of the apps or some of the apps that we covered today, please raise your hand in Zoom. Again, if you like any of the apps, all of the apps, some of the apps, today we covered some apps for sports, we covered some mental health apps, and we also covered the Amazon app that you can use to purchase pretty much anything, <laughs> really, um, if you need it quickly and it can be delivered to your doorstep, which I really like. So thank you again. If you like all the apps, some of the apps, one of the apps today, if you had fun, if you enjoyed today's session, please raise your hand in Zoom, okay? Thank you all so much. And at this point, again, we're gonna have our overview and discussion and talk together about some of the apps that we all uh, enjoy today. Any comments, any questions that you all have, please raise your hand in Zoom. And we'd love to hear from you all and how you felt about today's session. So again, if you'd like to share your thoughts on today, any comments, any questions, etc., please raise your hand in Zoom. Okay, first up is uh, Ms. Wilda. How are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining. Hey, so good morning. Good morning. I was just raising my hand to say I enjoyed the apps. I do use Amazon, the clock app. Uh, I'm not a sports fan, so I really didn't have anything. I'm sorry. I can raise lower my hand. But good morning. Thank you so much, Ms. Wilda. I, thanks so much for sharing. I appreciate that. Um, next up is Gerilyn. Hi, Gerilyn. Hi. Hi. Mm -hmm. Hi. Well, I enjoyed the discussion today. But I use the Amazon app all the time, and, and, and it's personalized so that when I get on, it just says, welcome, Gerald. So I like, I like that app. Mm -hmm. And I like, I like the clock app. Um, I use that. I use the clock app all, all the time, too. When, you know, you're washing clothes or you're cooking something, you want to time it, and I use that. But I would like to use the Apple Sports app because mm -hmm. I'm not a, a a great real 
sports fan, but I do watch football and I have my teams and I would like to know their stats and scores. So that's that's what I wanted to add today. Oh, well, thank you so much, Sherilyn. I love that. I love that. I love the clock out too. It's definitely saved my behind a couple of times with that alarm and the timer and stuff. So um, I'm glad that you utilize it. And thanks so much for sharing. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Our uh, next up is Greer, and thanks so much for joining. Thanks to you for your chat as well. Um, I appreciate that. All right, you got to hit a mute in the middle. <laughs> Good morning, all. Hello. Um, I I use the uh, the alarm all the time. Um, for, for various things, mostly mm -hmm. up in the morning if I have a, an appointment or, or something to do in the mornings. In addition, um, I had just, just as, as the, the class was coming on, I was, I have uh, the Apple TV uh, app also. So I was mm -hmm. logging into that, the Apple uh, TV. So I was logging into their sports one, but I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna log into the one. I think I like the CBS maybe even better. It um because it's I think seemingly it has more information that I would be interested in and a lot of my teams and I like the CBS anyway. So I would pro I might change up if not have both of them. In Amazon, I had problems getting in on the um on the what's the other uh not not Apple, but uh, the other one. Um, the sorry, one that, I, I kind of lost you. No, the one that's that Google is under. Um, I uh, I was trying to get on Amazon on that, but I had problems, and I have a gift card. But I think I'm gonna try to get on Amazon with the um with the app, the Apple mm -hmm. app, and see. That seemed like it'll be easier for me. But I have a gift card that I've been carrying around for a while. And uh, I didn't know how to, to to use it, but I'll I'll try to uh, find out how to do it with the uh, with the Apple app. Uh, yeah, and yeah, right. Yeah, you can definitely log in. You'll be able to see that payment and methods, and then you'll be able to add that payment right from there. So okay. you got this, okay? Got it. Thank I, know, you. I know you. I know you can do it. All right, then. Thank you. All right, Greer. Thanks so much for joining. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Uh-huh. And our last hand for now, but thank you, Ms. Dina. I appreciate that. Love it. Um, is from Anne. Thanks so much for joining us again. How are you? Oh, I'm doing well this morning. Thank you. Uh, I use the uh, um, clock every day. Uh, I set it so that I'm on 10 minutes before class, <laughs> or more, uh, 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 morning and afternoon. And um, I use it to, uh, I use the timer uh, if I'm baking more than one thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, me too, me too. <laughs> uh, so I, can, I, can, I can use the timer. I just realized that I can use the timer on the iPad for more than one thing at a time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, like, and, a, like I showcased. I just, uh, yeah, so that means I don't have to have my phone and the and the iPad going off. <laughs> not necessarily. So, uh, yeah. There's nothing. There's so, nothing wrong I, with that. I don't that, know though. why I didn't catch that before, but anyhow. And it took um, me a while. And, and it I took like me it. a while too. Okay. It took me a while well, too. <laughs> I'm gonna try it. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And and uh, I also like the um um affirmative messages. Uh, that mm -hmm. was uh real interesting, and uh, I think I will. I have checked out one before. Before, but I, I I saw one that today that I I don't remember checking out and I'm gonna check that one out. So thank you for the review, and you have a great weekend and be safe. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate that, Anne, and uh, hopefully those affirmations affirmations come to life. <laughs> yeah, hopefully <laughs> they will. They will. You just gotta believe. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Anne. Have a great rest of your day. You too. Mm -hmm. uh, again, thank you all so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure to review some of these apps.
that we covered just this year. And again, just by seeing today, we covered really three different things. We covered apps for sports, apps for mental health, and we covered a shopping app. So again, on your iPad, there were over 2 million apps on the App Store. It is, you know, in your best interest. And, you know, it definitely is worthwhile to look up some apps you may want to take advantage of yourself. If you like a topic, see if there's an app for it. If you like um, a channel or something, if you like a certain kind of game, if you like anything, put it into the search bar. And I, you know, implore that there is going to be many different apps that you can take advantage of. Other than that, I will see you all in a bit for our trip to the UK with Lou, and we'll be ending our day with module three at 1.30 on email on your iPad. Thank you so much for joining. I hope, you know, again, if you don't chat, if you have a wonderful weekend, but I will see you all soon for our trip and make sure to come on to potentially win a iPad accessory prize. Have a great rest of your morning and day, and thanks so much for joining, and see you all later. Thanks. See you later. Thanks so much. See Have you fun. later. Hope you all enjoyed today. Have a good rest of your day, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. No problem. Thank you. <laughs>